Hey there and welcome to this ProFlows Plus quick tip. I am Cameron and in this example, we're gonna look at making some fake 3D. So I'm sure most of you know how to do 3D to extrude type inside of After Effects. If you don't know how to, definitely hit me up and I'll make a video about that. But uh, here we go, we've got a red solid background. We've got a texture that I dropped in. It's set to soft light, so it just gives a little bit of texture here in the background. So this is with and without. Uh, the texture just really adds a little bit of oomph to that background to make it a little bit more interesting. So here is our typography, and it's a little bit like an off-white, off a little yellowish tint. We're gonna go to Layer, and we're gonna go to Create, Create Shapes from Text. When we do that, it immediately turns off our initial layer, which I'm gonna to drag to the top here. Here's our initial type layer. Here is our outlines uh, shape layer of our text, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to add and we're gonna say, let's make a repeater, okay? It immediately looks really strange, but watch what happens here. We're gonna change the number of copies to 17. We're going to offset these by, well, let's try negative one and one. And that seems to work. Let's change the color of these so we can see them just a little bit better. Let's select that red color, click okay. And let's turn on our layer above. And let's also go up here to effect and let's do perspective drop shadow. So I wanted to do a red on red extrusion and that's why it looks this way. Now I could change the angle of the shadow. So maybe something like 220, maybe increase the distance a little bit. So it's a little bit off the page there. Maybe increase the opacity just a hair. So you can see it's a really nice extrusion there. I can always go in, I could you know change the fill color here to something like blue, which you know I don't love, but there you can really see the extrusion. I really like it in that red. But this is a very simple way using a shape repeater to make an extrusion, a faux extrusion, 3D extrusion on typography. Hopefully you learned something new in this video. If you did, I would invite you to check out ProFlows Plus over at motionscience.tv where you can learn all about techniques, trends, and methods just like this every single month.